Good morning, meteorologist Stephanie Waldrop here. A beautiful day in store for the Cape Fear. And you're definitely going to want to head to the beach, though. Look at how hot these temperatures are. We're getting into the low 90s. We have a tornado warning in effect for Bladen County until 630. We still have about 45 minutes left on this warning. The storm moving to the northeast very quickly. Good afternoon. I'm down here in downtown Wilmington, right in front of City Hall, where the MLK parade is going on right now. It started at 11 o'clock, and it's still going strong. You can see the people behind me going by all of the spectators too. It's an awesome atmosphere. Look at that purple blob behind me. We can see that and that is going to be pushing closer and closer, bringing with it the coldest air of the season. I, I think our favorite part of your entire forecast when you said take a look at the purple blur behind me. <laughs> that, that is a scientific part. term I learned <laughs> in college. <laughs> I've been asking everybody this question and they've all said the same answer. So I want to see if you say the same answer. What's your favorite part of the Azalea Festival? My favorite part is always the parade. Okay, you yeah. have a different answer. Yeah, I, I, I love the Azalea Parade. Always have and always will. Awesome. Well, if you are heading out to the parade, it's going to be chilly, so grab a jacket. Otherwise, Ashley, back to you. I'd like to introduce Minot's newest meteorologist. <laughs> His name is Barkley, and as we all know with the movie Sharknado, <laughs> no tornado is complete without its shark. Absolutely. So I had to bring Barkley here today <laughs> to get finish and give you guys the last look at the Halloween forecast. Now, here's meteorologist Stephanie Waldreth with your forecast first. Pretty nice sight out of our Stevenson Skyview camera this morning. We're seeing lots of sunshine, blue skies, a little bit of some of those puffy white cotton ball clouds out there. Temperatures, though, pretty warm. We're starting off in the mid to upper 70s here across the Cape Fear 77 in Myrtle Beach. If you're heading down there, 78 here in the Port City. All of these temperatures today going to be warming up, and they're going to be mixed with these dew points that are right now in the mid 70s. The higher the dew points, the muggier and stickier it is, and this, these 70s, we've been seeing them all week long, and they're going to be sticking around. There's really not a whole lot of change in our weather from yesterday to today. We have this high pressure system sitting on top of us that's still bringing us all of this hot, very quiet weather not seeing any rain none of that but as we head into the weekend this cold front here is going to be sweeping through and that's going to be bringing us better chances for rain but before we get to the rain the heat is really something that we need to keep in mind our forecasted heat index value is going to be getting into the triple digits here this afternoon now one thing to know is that all of these temperatures are below 105 degrees 105 degrees is the criteria for a heat advisory to be issued for us we are not going to be seeing that, but other places in North Carolina could be seeing that today. Tomorrow, going to be the same story, getting into the triple digit heat index values. And like I said, other places in North Carolina are going to be very warm. So if you're going anywhere today, definitely water, sunscreen, take a lot of breaks. If you're outside, you're going to be needing it because even though we aren't in a heat advisory, we are very close and it's still going to be very warm out there. Now, another thing that we've got to worry about is our rain chances. Our rain chances are on the rise here as we head into the weekend. An isolated storm possible this uh, night. Not really uh, expecting a whole lot, but then as we head into your Saturday, we're going to be seeing mostly sunny skies starting off and we start to see those clouds move in and with the clouds comes that chance for rain. That cold front going to be pushing through, bringing with it some scattered shower chances Saturday afternoon into Sunday morning. And then throughout the day on Sunday, we're going to be seeing on and off showers. Honestly, Sunday is probably going to be the wettest day of the weekend. And these rain chances are going to be sticking around here Sunday, Monday, and into the latter parts of next week as well. So for the rest of today, eyes are going to be in the low to mid 90s. Hot and muggy, lots of sunshine. Isolated storm chance come up tonight. Not expecting a whole lot, though, if anything, but a couple people could see a quick downpour roll through. And a look at your seven day forecast showing that heat sticking around through Saturday. But then as we head into next week, a little bit cooler and then we've got better chances for rain too. No fog to talk about, but we are talking about rain showers today as we take a look out of our Stevenson Skyview camera. Shalote Point looking sad and gloomy. That's going to be the picture throughout the rest of the day and add a little bit of rain in there as well. So take a look at that storm track through radar right now. Most of the rain is up to the north in parts of Bladen and Pender County. We're going to continue to see this moving and then encompass the whole area here as we head into the afternoon. A little bit closer look though. Council Long Food Burga while is seeing a little bit of rain. Grab your umbrellas. You're going to be needing them all day today. As far as your temperatures go right now, we're in the upper 40s, low 50s. That's pretty cool. We're only going to be getting into the upper 50s for your afternoon highs. That mixed with cloudy skies and rain showers 
going to be just a blah kind of day. So you take a look at your pinpoint. You can see those showers are just going to continue on and off. So we're not going to be seeing continuous rain. But like I said, have your rain gear handy. You'll want it all day long. Here's a look at your seven day forecast, though. I do have some good news for everyone missing Mrs. Sunshine. We're going to be seeing some of it as we head into your Friday and it continues into your Saturday. But we could be seeing some frost Friday night into Saturday morning, too. It's going to be chilly, guys. Let's look at Irma and talk about it. High res satellite showing what a monster of a storm this is currently a category five storm moving to the northwest. Taking a closer look at this eye, it is going to be skirting the Virgin Islands, if not going right over those before skirting Puerto Rico and continuing on its very dangerous path. There are tropical storm warnings, hurricane warnings in effect through all of the Caribbean as the storm continues to move off to the northwest. And then one thing that we want to know is when is it going to take that turn? So we continue to the northwest at 16 miles an hour here through the rest of the week. Then the weekend, that's where we're going to be seeing that much anticipated turn to the north. This turn is incredibly hard to forecast. I cannot stress that enough. It is very hard to see just how quick it's going to be turning and where exactly it's going to be turning. I don't want you to pay so much attention to this red line, but rather the cone because the center of the storm could be anywhere inside the cone of uncertainty. So it could go up the Florida Peninsula. That would be catastrophic for Florida. It could stay out over open waters and move into and make landfall on the southeast coast, and that would be worse for parts of the southeast. So this is definitely something that we need to be watching very closely. We did see a shift in the models here last night and into this morning. Yesterday, these models were more to the west, kind of stretched out over the Florida Peninsula. You can see a lot of them now over the open Atlantic and have the landfall making in the southeast. These are just models. There's also a lot of days in between now and when the storm would be in our area for these to change. So now as we head into the rest of the week and into the weekend, it is not time to panic, but it is rather time to get prepared because like I said, these can change and the direct impact is really going to have a huge effect on this turn and just how quickly and when that turn happens. So make sure to stay with WWAY. You can do that on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also follow us on our website and do not forget to download the WWAY Storm Track 3 weather app. Let's take a look here at our seven day. For today, we're going to be seeing scattered showers and storms. After the scattered showers and storms, we've got a nice stretch of weather. Fall like temperatures, lots of sunshine, but then early next week is really going to depend on Irma and where she tracks. He is ready for the Super Bowl game. Unfortunately, the Broncos won't be playing. So live here from Awanda, South Carolina, in the path of totality, meteorologist Stephanie Waldriff, WWAY News. As we head throughout the rest of the day, we are going to be warming up into the mid to upper 70s. Don't get used to it, though, because that temperature right there, that's as high as it's going to be getting for the next seven days. All of the details on the cool down and our rain chances coming up. Randy and Hannah, back to you. Thanks, guys. Right now I am joined by Anna Crutchfield, a Red Cross volunteer, and you've been through this a few times, so you know exactly what we need to put into our preparedness kit. Let's kind of go through this and just explain to me why and what we need in our kits as we go into hurricane season. Absolutely. Good morning, southeastern North Carolina. As you head out the door, very cold. I've got my sweater on. I wore a jacket in and some boots. You're going to want to do the same thing. Also give yourself a few extra minutes so you can scrape off your windows. We've got some ice out there. The first hard freeze across the Cape Fear. We're talking a little bit about adding ice cream and donuts together. What are your plans for the summer with that? We're going to get it set up just right for the ice cream sandwiches. We're Absolutely. Excited. Well, that's two of my favorite things to put together. You guys definitely have to come out here. And if you're on your way to work and you want to stop by for a free donut, you can right here on Wrightsville Beach. Just give them the code Destination Donuts, and the first 12 people to come in will get a free donut. Randy and Ashley, back to you in the studio. Chance for severe weather while lower is not at a zero. We are in a slight chance for severe weather, meaning that we could be seeing an isolated to widely scattered storm. Right Right now, the biggest threat with that is looking to be those winds. And now I'm going to attempt to dance. Everyone, please be nice. I'm not a very good dancer. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Randy's laughing at me. The floor director is dancing with me. Thank you, thank you. But this is how I feel. The weather is just going to be great out there today, and I'm so excited for it. All right, now that's enough dancing. I've embarrassed myself enough. 